So, Suresh, uh, we have discussed costing yeah. in the last lecture. Yeah. So, for firms, for producers, the uh, costing is a very important component, but equally important is this issue of pricing. Yeah. So, they have two variables to control. One yeah. is how do they manage their cost? Yeah. And other is how do they price their product? Yeah. So, can you say something about the pricing yeah. aspect? Yeah. So, uh, the important decision that the firm has to make is in terms of pricing strategies because firm also always has an idea of the cost that's something which is within the firm control of, within, the, within control the control of the firm, of the firm. Right. now uh, using that variable then they decide what should be the appropriate price for the product there are two three things that we need to keep in mind here one uh, pricing is also a function of the kind of market in which they operate in a competitive market, the pricing strategy is different from a monopoly market kind of a thing. Competition means large number of firms and monopoly means only one firm. So, pricing strategy varies. Second, pricing also varies depending on the type of the product that you are producing. Third, pricing has to be aligned with the larger uh, objectives of the firm. Hmm. What is that you want to, have, want to have in the long run? Do you want to maximize profits? Do you want to maximize sales or market shares in that in that sense? So it's a variable that brings in a lot of different uh, information, and then you have to decide on an appropriate strategy. So you're saying that pricing there is a tactical element. Yeah. So for example, when you want to capture market share, you might use pricing yeah. as a vehicle to do yeah. that. So so you're saying basically that pricing is uh, there is a tactical element, yeah. which means we should we can use price to. Uh, you can drop the price and try to get more market yeah. share, something like that. Yes. But there is also a strategic element in pricing. Yes. Because you want to send a signal to the market where yeah. you stand. Yeah. So, are you a premium player? Or yes. That, with your pricing signals, you can yes. You can set your position yeah. in the market. Right? Yeah. So, pricing is an important strategic variable. Strategic though. variable. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, uh, it is used in different contexts, in different manner, hmm. in order to fulfill the objectives of the firm. Right. Uh, so, so in that context, I think it will be useful to look at what are the various pricing strategies that, that is, firms okay. use, mm. and then we can draw some inferences from that. Okay. So, when we look at uh, pricing strategies, well, uh, I think uh, the objectives of the firm has to be very clear in that. Mm. That is, do you want to have long run profits or you want to have short run profits? For example, in certain markets and in and for certain firms, you are there to stay. Hmm. Whereas in certain other markets and for certain other firms, there is a kind of a hit and run kind of a thing. In the short run, I want to make maximum profits, perhaps I might move out. So, pricing has to be decided according to this objective of the firm. Second important thing is that, well, we also need to consider, you know, where do you want to be in the market? Do you want to have a high market share and maintain that over a period of time? Or do you want to be uh, a lower market share but higher profits. So, increasing the sales volume that and the growth of the firm or, or company's growth that is the other kind of an objective which the firm need to keep in mind. Then there is also uh, an important component that we were just talking that as a strategic variable do you want to match your competitor's price. Hmm. Hmm. Because uh, in, in a market where there is a lot of competition Sometimes, you know, you will have to match it or you will have to undercut the price hmm. to get a, a higher market share. So, uh, not only your factors, factors outside the firm's control, that is the price of your, you know, competitor, etc. are also very important. So, that has also to be a concern when we talk about pricing. And yeah, then we need to, very importantly, we need to create a kind of an interest in your product. Hmm. Otherwise, you know, uh, we know that the uh, uh, products have their life cycle. Hmm. So, when you introduce the product, it will be slightly, you know, slow to enter into the market. Then it gets diffused. Hmm. By the time it gets diffused, well, uh, there will be competitors who might actually, you know, take on this product. Then the product reach, reaches a maturity stage hmm. beyond which it is difficult to really push the volumes. Then comes the declining phase of a product. So, at each phase of this product life cycle, perhaps you might need different pricing strategies. Mm -hmm. So, that is very important in terms of, you know, uh, having an excitement, keeping the excitement of the product always kind of a thing. So, Jio, for example, introduced telecom for free. In the yeah. 
GS example is a very interesting example. Yeah. <laughs> Bundled and made it free. Yeah. All you can eat basically planned. Right. And then flat rate. Yeah. But subsequently they had to, because regulation also requires that yes. you can't just do that. Yes. That is predatory pricing. Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. But after some time, basically they had to introduce a price. But yeah. that was the strategy. Yeah. So step by step, you keep introducing yes. a higher and higher price. Yes. Once you got the customers. Yes. So that, that's very interesting because Zeus uh, pricing strategy will overlap a lot of models that we are talking. It's okay. not it's not a one kind of a model. It is a kind of a what I would call as an amalgam of lot of, of models, models that, that we are we are okay. talking about. Okay. Yeah. Then of course some firms have social and ethical and ideological objectives. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, this comes little more relevant in the context of certain public sector firms and service firms. Because they don't want to really have higher you know, profits, but they want to just break even. So pricing is is, is uh, used to ob fulfill certain social objectives also there. And then we have uh, a very interesting kind of a, of a strategy which firms use. If there is a threat of an entry of a new player coming into the market, then uh, price is used as a signal to discourage that entry. Hmm. What they what they do, what firms do, or what we call as incumbent firms do, is something like a limit pricing or a predatory pricing. Mm. They just lower the price yes. and then makes it very hard for the new entrant to come. Make to any money at all? Money <laughs> at all, and that will to that will be to discourage entry. But this the government should watch this. That that there is a regulatory angle. Regulatory angle. Yeah. Because this way, you, if you don't allow competition to come in, then you eventually become monopoly. Yes. So, yeah. That's a yeah. problem for the... There is a regulatory, regulatory yeah. issue. Yeah. In mechanism mm -hmm. to control that. Mm -hmm. And finally, there is also a, a question of survival of certain firms in the market. And that, you know, survival requires certain kind of pricing. Or rather, with certain uh, approach towards pricing, only the firm can survive in certain markets. Mm -hmm. If you vary the price, it might not be able to survive. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, if we recall, recall our earlier discussions, um, we talked about inferior goods. Hmm. So, we, if if we realize that what we are producing is an inferior good and if we try to tinker with the price, well, the bandwidth is not very high for you hmm. to really hmm. vary hmm. the price. Hmm. So, I want to be in the market and I just want to survive in the, survive market. In the market. So, I will keep the price in that particular band. band. Hmm. Yeah. So, various considerations come in terms of, of a pricing strategy. Now, uh, when we are looking at pricing st strategy, uh, there are a lot of uh, data requirements also that, that is very important for it. One is, of course, pricing strategy is intimately related to the costs. Because we, we saw in our last uh, discussion that, you know, uh, firms have to decide when to shut down and when to exit depending on your cost considerations. Very important. Second, we talked about the question of markets and competition in the market because interdependence of firms, especially in oligopolistic situation where there are few firms and oligopoly is a, is a market situation where there are few firms and competition between these oligopoly firms could be very high or could be even low. Could be very high uh, in certain situations because the action of one firm could immediately invite reaction from the other That's firm. Hmm. But if you can cooperate with the other firm, then perhaps you can behave like a monopolist. Hmm. So, it's a very difficult kind of a market situation to survive. So, co the extent of competition in the market becomes very important. And basically, the other other uh, uh, issues we, we talked about that in, uh, in our discussions right now. But uh, very importantly, we also need to understand what is the demand situation in the market. In the market. Hmm. Hmm. And that is where, you know, uh, our concepts of elasticity of demand will become very important. Depending on the elasticity of demand, then we will have to really arrive at a pricing formula for the product that we are actually putting out. And this may be, this demand may be seasonal, we saw it seasonal. Yeah. So, accordingly, your price also will be seasonal. Like, yeah. for example, for the Diwali yeah. period, festival period, you know that there is going to be a much higher yeah. demand. Yeah. And so, you may tweak your prices to take into account the maximum, Yes. Uh, you know, you want to capture the maximum amount of the demand in that period. Yeah. But in the regular period, you may not do that. You so may not you do may that. Have, so, your price yeah. strategy may depend on yeah. that. So, we, we find this kind of, you know, huge discount Discounts, sales. For example. Uh, discount sales. Yeah. In, in Tamil Nadu, we find that in RD month, ah. there is a huge, you know, RD, RD offer that ah. is coming. Ah. And then again, uh, when the festival season, Diwali time, you find that there are, you know, not only discounts, but also 
a kind of bundling that happens hmm, hmm. you know buy that two day, get, this get say, two free ah, buy, ah, those kind of that things kind of thing. that that happens so people to buy more to buy more kind of a thing yeah. so all that all that is a function of the demand that that we just uh, you know discussed in the earlier uh, sessions so the sum and substance of our, our uh, argument is that pricing is a market and cost consideration there is a market consideration there is also cost right. now we need to have a balance between these two and then arrive at an appropriate pricing formula taking into account the demand conditions very much seasonality fluctuations in demand elasticity etc now here uh, we need to uh, also understand what is your consumer's primary goal remember we talked about utility maximization and you know how they substitute hmm. so uh, how are customers you know assessing your product is very important hmm. and uh, we talked about the large scale surveys and you know how certain consulting companies put out data on all that becomes very important to assess this now mm -hmm. because uh, some of the products are considered as premium products by the consumers so the pricing strategy should be mm -hmm. a kind of a differentiated pricing strategy yeah. you have to differentiate your product with the existing products or from the existing products in the market so customers primary goals have to be understood and given that uh, in, in certain in certain situations we will have to have bundling because customer thinks that you know well this single thing might not be of much value for me if i had x plus y perhaps it could be useful so all all those pricing strategies become very important there now uh, the other important thing is that this perception of value is is built over time so pricing strategy is also related to that initially as as we just you know discussed when the product is introduced to the market in the initial phase of a product's life uh, utility uh, de derived from the consumption of such a product perhaps might not be high so you keep deriving the uh, uh, customers perceptions or keep deriving the value in the minds of the customer over a period of time by an appropriate you know pricing strategy very very interesting examples we can see from the auto market mm. some cars when they are introduced they find it very difficult to position themselves in the seg in in segments mm. you might not be in a, in a hatchback seg segment mm. but you want to pack it with the features of a uh, sedan uh, uh, uh. now uh, what you are trying to do is basically you are trying to price over a hatchback mm. and below a sedan there mm. Mm. but then sometimes customers think that well if i pay 1 lakh more or something i can get I a sedan, sedan. then right. why should i really right. uh, settle for a hatchback right and a hatchback fellow might think that well i don't need to i don't need this kind of features i buy a proper paka hatchback <laughs> is enough for <laughs> me kind right. of right. thing so that is where this kind of you know building this so it's build, not a continuum is not a continuum yeah so building this over time sometimes create new segments in the market okay temporarily it'll create at least temporarily it will create hmm. and at that point you know you really need to price Uh, at a at a very very you know appropriate formula can be used to price that product hmm. and then move on to another product hmm. introduce another product hmm. and and that's the continuous kind of a value creation that that we see with the pricing okay so broadly we summarize the factors that that affects pricing as one uh, organizational and marketing objectives of the firm yeah do you want to have sales maximization do you want to have you know higher uh, uh, profitability per unit what should be the kind of an objective of the firm very important to uh, this objectives of pricing which we talked like you know uh, utility higher or the perception of higher utility to the uh, consumer or do you have a social objective to fulfill yeah uh, in, in in certain public sector units we know that you know uh, especially in health or education we know that the quality may be very high but still it might not be priced very high because they think that there is a social objective that has to be fulfilled cost very important uh, other uh, marketing mix variables are very important yeah um, yeah in some of these things uh, we use certain channels for marketing hmm. so those channels members ex uh, expectations are very important customer interpretation and response i think that is where uh, so the channel what what do you mean by channel channel is like A distributor. Distributor. So, uh, for example, car companies they sell via yeah this yeah distribution companies yeah. who who have stores yeah. where they keep the cars yeah. 
So they may say that only these kind of car sales in this market. Though. Yeah. They may say that, uh, you know, in my, at least in my city. Yeah. These cars are moving more than some other. Yeah. Car, right. Yeah. So in Coimbatore, for example, more premium cars might move. Yeah. It, traditionally, that's what happens. Yeah. Whereas in Chennai, you might find more value cars are value more. cars. Yeah. Possible, right? Yeah. So, so there, there, there that is where the channel expectation comes in. Yeah. And the uh, kind of, you know, geographical uh, segmentation of market becomes very important. Very important. Right? Yeah. Certain cities huh. with certain income groups, yeah. certain activities. Hmm. And very importantly, sometimes the sheer geography of the city might become very important. Hmm. Ah, that's true. Yeah. Because yeah. certain products have to be tailor made for, for certain the, weather or huh. certain geographies. geographies. Yeah. So all that becomes very important. Correct, correct, correct. And uh, uh, this is where perhaps we might have a lot of data work to do customer interpretation and uh, responses to a product where we will have to look at large scale data, crunch those numbers and see what are the patterns. Some right. people do FMCG, they do trials. Yeah. They actually will get children and they will give them some new Cadbury chocolate, some new chocolate or something. Yeah. Yeah. And then see how they respond to it. Yes. So that interpretation response, they actually do a, a real experiment. <laughs> yeah. And they do it in multiple locations. They do it in multiple places. times yeah. and then see how the response is for the, the product. Yeah. Yeah. And then sometimes there is also a kind of, you know, um, price variation that is also experimented. Mm. Uh, for a particular period, there is 10% off mm. or 20% off. And they'll see and, what happens. Uh, and and is, is it really That's having an impact on uh, the market uh, kind of a thing. Uh. So this is where from a data point of view, there's very, very important role to play for data uh, analysis. Analysis, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And competition, that's an analysis of a firm because you know your competitors, you should know your competitors in the business and uh, according to that, uh, you you pitch your product. And finally, there is this legal and regulatory issues which, which we just talked about that, you know, in the geos kind of a, of a case and things of that sort, you can't have predatory pricing for a long period of, of time, mm -hmm. which actually hurts competition in the market.